So today I bring to you the third video in the Modernizing a Classic series. This video is going to be on the Daisy 2003. As you see right here, it is a uh, single action CO2 powered blowback 35 shot pellet repeater which is pretty cool. Of course, these things have been discontinued for a very long time. And, you know, you find people who they either love them or they hate them. Uh, me personally, I have grown to love them. Although they do have some drawbacks, of course. Um, Non-adjustable sights, a horrible trigger, uh, reliability that can be spotty at times, you know, but other than that, you know, it has, like I said, 35 shots. It is uh, fires in open bolt. So yes, it can be converted to full auto. And I'd actually considered it a couple of times, but I went against it because again, reliability one and two, the bolt is made of plastic. And I've already had one of these guns where the plastic bolt broke. So I'll stick with semi-auto. It'll last longer. And, you know, with lubing it up and using the correct pellets, it runs pretty good. So this is what it looks like stock, of course. And that's what it looks like now. I've basically made a 2003 carbine. I added a stock, as you can see, a forward grip, I extended the barrel, I added an optic, and I put on a cheek rest and a sling. So, um, if anyone's interested, I can go over this more in detail with you if you like. It was a complete and utter pain in the behind. Uh, you're looking at about a month and a half uh, project that I've been working on, which is one reason why I've been late on getting some videos out. Um, but to try and go over it real quick, uh, like I said, it has a forward grip, has a sling mounted. Um, it has a Picatinny rail mounted to the trigger guard. It's using the old Crossman stock. I'm using two uh, buck rail suppressors that have been uh, basically glued together. Um, this is not a complete job. I do plan on molding these together uh, once I get a chance. Uh, what else? Um, and that's pretty much about it. You know, it's got a rail on the top for me to mount an optic, Picatinny rail for me to mount an optic. And uh, I slotted the piercing screw so now it doesn't stick out the bottom I have to use a flathead and to mount the stock there's one screw that goes here it's an allen I'll go ahead and put it in and this holds the stock to the pistol but the screw is a little long I have to cut it down but it'll do for now that's so, and it's not going anywhere. Look at the other side. Get my finger off the trigger. Uh, don't know if you can see that, but um, this is the stock barrel out of the 2003. It is four and three quarter inches long. Um, even though this barrel is kind of short for this gun, um, when I did the velocity test on this gun, and I did have a video previously on this gun with the accuracy test, and if you want to, you can go look at that and see the velocities I was getting out of it with this barrel. But I'm pretty sure they were uh, high 400, maybe even 500, if I can recall. Um, the barrel now is... 
goes all the way to the end of the suppressor. So the suppressor actually doesn't work. It's just a barrel shroud that's covering the suppressor. I mean the barrel. Uh, the barrel is uh, 12 and 3 quarter inches long. It is out of a Daisy 2001, which was cut and then recrowned. As you can see there, it is recessed into the suppressor to, to uh, help protect it. And uh, sun hasn't really been cooperating with me today, but I'm going to try and do a velocity test. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so uh, taking a cue from one of the viewers, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the temperature that this velocity test is being taken. Uh, it's 71 degrees and it's Sunday. Uh, September 30th. Let's see if this works. And I don't think I have enough sun. Let's try it again. All right, 490. All right, so it looks like I'm getting 490 feet per second, roughly, on a 71 degree day. So I'm calling this the world's first and only Daisy 2003 carbine. Uh, I've done some searching on the internet, and I found one rifle that had a longer barrel and an optic, but no stock. So uh, if I'm incorrect in that statement, please let me know. But I'm going to go with that for right now, that this is the only one. So from the cone to the cans is 13 yards. And I'm going to see if I, how quickly I can take those cans down with uh, this little contraption that I put together. Not too bad. I would say she ran great, 100% reliable so far. I need some wood to knock on. But, uh, you know, like I say, it's not completed yet. Uh, I still have to work on this suppressor, getting that molded together. This little tab here for the, for the safety prevents it from going on fire. I'm gonna remove that, it's a pain in the butt. And, you know, I think after that, I would be done. But I really, this is about a month worth of work. And I know this is gonna sound crazy. This is, sound crazy and unbelievable, but a tad over $400. I know, retarded. But I like it. As you can see, it's fun. And it shoots pellets as fast as you can pull the trigger. And it's no longer made. So, and it's the only one. So, that's uh, it on my Daisy 2003 carbine, uh, modernizing a classic. I would definitely say that uh, I did modernize it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.